Hello, dear community, and welcome in Graz. We are at AVL headquarters, and here is a demo day of startups that AVL works together with. And we have two exciting founders with us now: Matteo Bertocchi from Novak. Matteo, welcome. Hello, everyone. Maximilian Grandi from Duramea. Hello. And Victoria Ilga from AVL Creators Expedition. Victoria, welcome. First of you, uh, first you guys. What do you do? What do you do? What your startup is all about? In Novak, we develop uh, shapeable supercaps. Supercaps are a sort of battery, and our goal is to shape them into the structure of any electric vehicle. So we want to spread the energy into the structure of, uh, of vehicles or satellites. It can be a personal vehicle, car, or, or, or a truck, or a bus? Yes, we want to embed this energy into the structure of any electric vehicle, so there is no particular uh, condition for Fantastic. that. Fantastic. How far are you? Uh, we, are, we have already a prototype uh, done with Dallara for motorsport, uh, where weight and balance is very important. But we are doing some uh, proof of concept also in other, in other fields like drones uh, and electronics. So uh, it's still R&D, but we have a proof of concept ongoing. So, Which particular problem are you focusing on? Uh, the problem is the, the space that is not infinite in a, in a car. You cannot make it... Uh, too big, so you have to find new spaces for, for energy in order to increase the range and the safety and the performance of an electric vehicle. When is it going to be market ready? Uh, at the end of uh, next year, uh, our R&D for the first uh, uh, product will be finished, so uh, we plan the, the production to be in 2025. And you have already some clients knocking, clients knocking on the door? Uh, yes, especially for the proof of concept in this phase. Um, we think that Motorsport is our first uh, uh, door for, for this kind of product, but we are talking to different uh, markets for, for that. Okay. Motorsport coming from Modena makes sense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maximian Grandi, Duramea, what do you guys do? So, uh, we joke that we, s we make the hardware of the fuel cell. So, that's mm. the membrane electrode assembly, which is where the electrochemical reactions take place. So, you use hydrogen and oxygen and produce electrical power like a battery, but instead of using battery materials, you use hydrogen oh, to fantastic. store the power. That's what kind of, which problem are you solving with your product? So, I mean, the biggest problem right now for fuel cells is that they are super expensive compared to other technologies and they don't last that long. So they're, they, they used to fall apart just by looking at them. Now we, now we got way better. So now they take 20,000 hours, but still you need more lifetime to uh, really make it work for mm. everyone. So that's basically the challenge that we solve is make it more durable. Fantastic. Victoria, where did you meet these guys? Super exciting startups. Yes, it's very special where we meet them because we met them at university corporations. So Matteo and Novak we know from the TAC University Corporation. It's a corporation with the University of Modena mm -hmm. where students can applicate, find their idea within the program, find their team within the program. And some of them really found the company. And I think you were in the program in 2019. Correct. Yes, so it's a long time ago, but now they already have a prototype, they have first customers, and that's the best to see um, for me. And I was a mentor, I, I was a teacher there, um, and it's really cool to have you here today. Fantastic. Thanks. And Doramea, we know from another university corporation with the University of Graz. Um, we are working together with Gründungsgarage and the University of the Technical University of Graz. Um, both are involved. And yeah, there we also try to incubate and to help somehow as mentors. So mm. this is a kind of a special cooperation we have with those Do two Do you keep startups. supporting these university programs in the future we, as well? Yes, we want to. That's why they are here. They should get to know as many AVLers as possible so that they know your great solution and that we can start a second project with them. Fantastic. How was the experience uh, for you at the university and how was the step, the spinning off step, let's call it that way? Uh, for me, it was a great experience. Uh, I applied to TAC when I was just a student uh, and I didn't know the other founders because I, I met them during TAC uh, and the idea of Novak was born uh, in TAC again. So uh, it was a great experience. It was uh, a course, uh, some lessons that you don't have usually in your normal path in university that for me is uh, a mechanical engineering uh, degree. And yeah, th there the, the idea was born uh, and uh, of course uh, you have this uh, useful time in which you learn a lot of things uh, 
while being protected by universities, uh, by university and AVL, and then you can go uh, outside the, when you already know things about startups. Your team is based in Moldana. Did you find your team also at university? Uh, yes, they, they were all students from the University of Modena. None of us is from Modena, so we are all from different regions of Italy. But we went there for to, to study at the University of Modena, and we we met uh, during the, the course. What about your experience in the Grundsgarage? Uh, yeah, it was a really exciting experience. Um, yeah, coming from academia, I didn't know all the... Uh, yeah, economy side and all these uh, things like usually in academia you tend to strive for a publication and that's your biggest goal. I mean, it's nice to know to, to get the basics, but then in the end, what what matters is do the people use it or do they not? And and by doing a company like founding a company, you bring this knowledge to something that people use. And that really has then the impact. You need both, of course, but the bringing to the, towards the impact is what the companies, what the startups do in this. Find your product market fit. Eh? And, yeah. and is this the aspect where AVL and the university are helping you? Yes, yes, they are helping us uh, a lot. So we are still on university, so we didn't found yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we will found in approximately one year. Uh, since we are building hardware, uh, we are producing it ourselves. We need a lot of uh, infrastructure, yeah. expensive infrastructure, yeah. which is shared by the university yes. with this program. So it's really helpful that university is still there. So there is still the university, all the knowledge, all the infrastructure. And then there is, of course, the corporations. We have a long-standing tradition of collaborating with AVL. Uh, so we know AVL. Uh, many of our colleagues work at AVL now, so past colleagues. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there is AVL helps us in uh, many ways understanding the customer, also understanding the way of thinking, uh, and also to get some data from AVL, and we give some data, so it's, it's always a, a beneficial for everyone, so it's a win-win situation. I mean, these are fantastic um, use cases, uh, Victoria. The spin-off topic of spin-offs is in Austria um, underrepresented and you're pushing it uh, really strongly forward, which is so important to have the transfer of knowledge from the university and technology to the market. How do you see that? Uh, can, can AVL foster this? Can you push this and, and enable it? Yes, I, I definitely think we can push it and we need to push it more even because, as you said, um, we need more founders from the university, we need more spin-offs and I think here the industry comes into the game because what we have as an industry is we have market know-how, we know where we have problems and we need to tell that problem to universities, to students in order to find solutions for that. So I think it's very important also here to become more open as an industry um, with universities as well. And obviously you collaborate with uh, cross-industry within your industry, so can you open the doors to other corporates as well for the spin that you have in your portfolio? That's a good point. We try. Um, that's also why we launched a program for other corporates this year, where we try to collaborate with corporates, bring in our startups. Um, this is exactly what we are aiming for. Fantastic. But it's not always that easy, <laughs> as you can think. Yeah, of course. What do you guys expect from a corporate partner like AVL? Uh, is it exactly this? Opening the door, doing the project, supporting infrastructure, maybe also being your client? Yes, for sure. For us, uh, definitely a feedback from the market is very important and having this connection with AVL since the beginning was very useful in order to find uh, a solution to a real problem and not a solution for nothing. Mm. And now the, yeah, the next step is for sure looking for partners, uh, corporates that are interested in doing some proof of concept at first and then becoming the customers. Same? It's really the same since we our products are pretty similar, uh, so yeah, we, we need to understand the customer, we need to know all the use cases because, yeah, we don't, basically we, we know the technology as, a, as scientists, but we don't, in the end, we, we can guess some use cases, we can guess uh, many use cases, but then what the people want is what AVL has to tell us, or uh, the people themselves, of course, or, yeah, also testing, uh, together because testing in a lab takes a lot of mm. time and so resources yeah. and resources so 
yeah, you, you, you share these resources, you share insights, you can test at different scales. So, yeah. Fantastic. Please. Maybe to finish, what are your next big milestones? What's on the roadmap? Uh, for us, uh, for sure, it's to complete the prototype uh, in order to uh, be able to talk to a lot of customers uh, in order to yeah, go to the market. Super. Yeah, it's the same. I, okay. I, I, can, I, I can't add anything else to that. Yeah. Then I can add something. Because you said um, you're having a similar solution. Of course, the solution not, but what is similar, they are both hardware startups. Yeah. And as you look at the demo day today, these are the only hardware startups ah. we have. And here you see where university comes into yeah. the game. I think that's also where you see why spin-offs are that important. And we are very happy to learn from you, to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was it, our first talk. Stay tuned. Another two talks are coming with startups and spin-offs. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.